Greetings and blessings upon you all. Welcome to Faith Chapel Presbyterian Church's worship. Way back in the beginnings of Faith Chapel, they worshiped beneath a tree. And so we gather together today to worship simply and wonderfully. So bring yourselves together, gather in and prepare thyselves to worship our Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven, heaven and nature sing. Joy. Merciful God, we come before you with praise and thanksgiving. Through Jesus Christ, you have lavished on us every spiritual blessing we could possibly imagine. Before the world was created, you already knew us and loved us. You adopted us as your own children and redeemed us through the blood of Christ. Even more, you have made us your heirs and given us your own spirit as a sign and guarantee. How we praise you. Open our hearts and minds to your presence among us. May our worship bring you honor and glory, for you alone are worthy of our praise. Amen.
Praise for spiritual blessings in Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ, to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in the conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. This is the word of our Lord. So here we are into a new year. How many of you just said, thank God. And yes, indeed, we have turned the calendar page. But so many of the things that we really and truly want to leave behind in 2021 has just rolled over into the new year with us. So what does that mean for us? For us as believers, it just means we keep doing what we've been doing. We dig a little bit deeper into our faith and we follow Christ no matter what. How many of you made a New Year's resolution? I know that this time of year, there's so many. There, there's the, I want to lose weight. There's the, I want to stop smoking. There is the, I want to stop drinking. There's the, I want to eat better, be healthier. I want to work out more. I want to spend more time with my family. All the different things that we do. And we say in the new year, this is my new year's resolution. This is what I want to do. I wonder if we were to look back in time and for each year that we made that resolution, if we could see when it kind of faded from our consciousness, it just kind of wastes away as we get further into the year, doesn't it? And I have to say, it's okay. 
because it happens every single year. Every year we go through this. So for this year, how about if we change it up just a bit and we do something that just maybe we can stick with throughout the year. And that is to dig deeper into our faith. The scripture from today has Paul telling us about being the chosen people of God. How often do you view yourself as someone who was chosen? This world today likes to put a lot of hype into being chosen. We see a lot of Instagram influencers and the YouTube and the social media statuses and whew, it's exhausting. And we hear about the 15 minutes of fame. And this is kind of where we've put our thought into being chosen. You've been chosen for the moment for everybody to look at. That's not what being chosen by God is all about. Being chosen by God doesn't come and go web and kind of fall away. It doesn't require anything of us. It just simply is. If you are a believer, you have been chosen by God. You did nothing, really, to get there, except for acknowledge the fact that you believe. But you've been chosen for that by God. Your belief, all by itself, with no other actions, no other thoughts, just a believing, draws you closer to God. How much in this world asks so little of you, but gives so much? I really can't think of anything. This predestination, chosen from the beginnings of the world, not even right now, okay, You're, you've hit the right age to believe, no, no such thing. You've hit the right space or time. No, no such thing. From the very beginning of time, you were chosen by God. Long before you were a gleam in your parents' eyes. Chosen by God. You have to stop for but a moment and think about that. Before time, before we began the way that we keep track of time, before the calendar in which we flip the page from one year to the next, before all that came to be, You were chosen by God. I don't know about you, but for me that says, I need to do something. I need to move. I need to think. I need to be more God. And so in this new year, let's take that opportunity to be more gods. Now for each and every single one of us, that may look differently and that's okay too, because we are different and it takes many different parts to be the church that Jesus calls us to be. So what is it that maybe you want to do to reflect being this chosen one of God? 
Maybe it's read the Bible more. Get to know God's Word better. To understand God's character more. To build a deeper relationship with God. Maybe it is service. It is helping others. Being there for other people. Expressing what it was that Jesus gave to his disciples throughout his journey with them. Being present. For others, it may be ministry. It may be preaching. It may be pastoring. It may be leading the people of God. Whatever it is, know that it benefits you much more than it benefits God. Because ultimately, all the things that we do are meant to be done to give glory to God. So as you discern these things that you feel called, that you may be called to do as a chosen one of God, talk with someone else about it. Dig a little bit deeper. And as you do so, may you draw in closer to our Lord. And may that chosen status be the New Year's resolution. And in doing so, all those things that came over the calendar wall, yeah, all the things that are weighing us down, they will be lifted from our shoulders as we change our focus from them to our Lord and our God. So Happy New Year to you all and glory to God. Amen.
it is time to go out and share God's purpose for us, which has been disclosed in Jesus Christ. With God's help, amen. Share this purpose with others by the way you live, with the words on your lips, by the deeds of your hands, with the prayers in your minds, and through the love in your hearts. With God's help, amen. The grace of Christ will redeem you. The enduring love of God will support you. The friendship of the Holy Spirit will accompany you this day and evermore. Amen.